In this video, we're going to look at adding background audio to our main menu. So I've just opened up Godot. Let's head on over to the main menu. So just double click this to open it. And what we're going to want to do is add a new node. So we want to go main menu and then hit the plus button. And we're just going to do a little search for audio. Now there's a few different ones, but we're going to use the most simplest one. So it's this audio stream player. So if we double click on the audio stream player, now we're just going to rename this to background music. Just so we can keep organized and just press away from it. So now we've got our background music all set up. The next thing we need to do is add a new folder. So because we're going to be using quite a few bits of different audio, we're just going to right click and we'll say new folder and we'll say audio. So all of our audio tracks can go into there. Now I've gone ahead of time and downloaded some audio. Remember, before you drag and drop, you do need to have the folder selected. So I've gone ahead of time and downloaded some audio from a website called bensound.com. I've also converted it on a website called Zamzar. I've linked both links in the Google Classroom. The reason I've had to convert it is because Godot doesn't like MP3s. So you have to use two different versions, the .ogg version or a .wav version, but you can pretty much convert any MP3 to these using Zamzar, which is really useful. So what we're going to do is grab this background track and I'm going to drag it into the audio and let go. And let's just check to make sure it's gone in there. And there it is there. It was quite a big file, so it took a little bit longer. So now we've got this open. What we're going to do is make sure our background music or our audio stream player is selected. And I'm just going to grab the bend sound and I'm going to drop it to where it says um, stream empty. Now once I've done that, it's actually ready to play. So what you want to do is make sure you've got a couple of settings ticked. So we do want it to be playing. Oh, no, we don't. We want autoplay. That's the one we want. So when the menu starts, it will just instantly kick in. That's what we want. And you also probably want to make sure it's on loop. So if you go over to the import button, now we have this loop already set. So we're already good. good. But if it wasn't, you'd have to check that. And then you'd have to press the re-import button. Okay, so let's go and test this to make sure it all works. So we're going to press the scene button. And as you can see, straight away it plays. So when I click the start button, it should stop. And there you go. So that audio is just for that main scene. You can also bring the volume down here. Okay, so we've got minus, minus 15 decibels. Let's just check that one more time to make sure it works. And then we're all done. And as you can see, it's slightly quieter now. Press the start button and we're good to go. Okay, so I'll see you in the next video.